I'm headed into the office today. I am feeling very exhausted. That's what a whirlwind it has been, if I haven't already said that. Tomorrow off to an agency in London. everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name's Emma and I'm currently living and working in London. I'm on a business graduate scheme and I actually finished my last job last week. So the scheme is two years long and rotational and I'm starting my new job today. That was just a really quick get you up to speed sort of ramble but I'm very much in a rush because obviously I'm starting my new job and I want to make a good impression so I'm going to get ready as I chat but Welcome to this vlog style um, week in the life. I am moving from my old commercial role into um, a communications based role, which makes sense because I did study English at university and I am in a rush trying to get ready because I want to be early, make a good impression, get settled in. Um, feeling very excited and a little bit nervous. I meet my new team today. Um, same office same company but again it like it feels like I'm starting from fresh which is kind of a weird feeling um but I just wanted to hop on and do a brief introduction to this vlog before diving straight in otherwise you'll be like what on earth happened why is Emma starting a new job has she left her company um I imagine I'll do a more in-depth video about my new job my new role and my scheme a little bit later on if I manage to catch a minute because I've got the busiest week of my life coming up or busiest next few weeks the whole of September is just going to be a bit crazy um but yes starting my new job very excited I'm gonna dash finish putting on my makeup and then I'll see you at work Plan of action, I'm headed into the office today. I roughly do around two or three days in the week in the office and two or three days at home. Or well, that was the case in my old team and it seems like that's going to be the case in my new team as well. So in today and in Wednesday, working from home Tuesday and I'm actually off out to an agency in London on Thursday, which will be really exciting, straight in the deep end, coming along with my team to that. And on Friday, I'm actually on annual leave because I'm graduating. Um, so yeah, very, very busy week ahead of me. I'm feeling very excited. I need to book my train tickets, walk to the train station. I kind of do a weird commute where I walk to the station in the morning, a different train station, get the train in from there, and then on the way back home, I get the fast train to another train station and get the bus back because I like the slow walk in the morning. It like calms me down. Whereas in the evening when I come back from work, I kind of just want to get home and don't mind taking the faster train even if it is a slightly busier route because it gets me home quicker so that's the plan for today I'm meeting my new um 
one of my new managers uh, for a coffee first thing in the morning and he's going to walk me through the programme so I'm really excited to hear all about that. And that is day one in my new job done. I can't believe it is completed. I am feeling very exhausted. I forgot just how tiring it is to meet lots of new people all at once and be overwhelmed with so much information or information all at once as well. But my new team just seem like the loveliest bunch of people in the world. So friendly, so chatty, which I mean, what did I expect from communications people? Like, <laughs> of course they're gonna be nice and friendly. Um, very, very welcoming and, um, you know, kept offering to help me out or give me advice or hop on calls. Um, yeah, so feeling really good. Um, and very excited to see what my career in communications will entail. Uh, got set up on all of the systems I need to be set up on and now all of the calls are going in my diary So that's starting to look a lot more busy, but I'm very excited to Sort of take on this new challenge and try something different and maybe a bit more in my skill set given my English degree um, And there are some sort of familiarities for me within this world based on my previous work experience my time at university societies um, a little bit of familiarity with content management systems if anyone knows what that is um, So yeah, it did make it feel a little bit more intuitive But yes, very tired even filming this job the filming this job god I can't speak filming this vlog <laughs> With this level of enthusiasm is a lot I just kind of got straight in the house dumped my bags down It's past six o'clock now and I'm very hungry. I'm ready to make dinner and just sleep, you know um, But I'll keep you posted on how the rest of the week goes Familiar terminology. <laughs> yeah, that makes yeah. It's a lot bigger a team than I thought, as you said. Um, yeah, yeah, but that's it's really helpful to see it mapped out like that. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine so. He pinged over like a list of sort of projects I'd be helping out on um, over the next six weeks, and some of the ones you mentioned. I'm on to day two of my new job and my goodness what a whirlwind it has been if I haven't already said that in one of these clips by now it's just it's so bizarre to transition from one role into a new role overnight and literally like log off on a Friday and open my laptop on a Monday to a completely new G team new job new role new skills new platforms and just settle into it all over again but my team are being really, really helpful um 
So yesterday was obviously just like the get to know the team, get to know the function. Um, today I'm actually kind of in the thick of it, like being forwarded tasks to do, um, writing copy, uploading posts and um, speaking with agencies and learning all about what the team does and what their teams do and how I slot into that. So yeah, already all hands on deck. I am, I'm only in this team for six weeks and then I'll be moving on to the team that I was meant to be starting in. But like they've placed me in this team for now based on the workload and where they need um, extra hands. So it's really good that I'm actually getting exposure to like, you know, different, different, um, like tasks and things or projects that are really big and up, up and coming at the minute because if I'd saved this placement for last when I should have done it then a lot of these projects would have been tied up by them but because my manager has um, tailored the program based on my interests and my needs and my development but also what is available and what she thinks I can actually get stuck in with it really means that I'm gaining the full experience and can actually offer practical help so I can't wait to actually be a bit more upskilled and really I don't know, bring something to the table, but for now, just doing like lots of little bitty tasks and um, using the, the like these little moments as opportunities to like develop and understand the systems, I think is a good starting point. So feeling a little bit more useful, which is good, but I'm sure in the coming weeks, I'll really get in the thick of it. But yeah, for now, I'm just very, very tired. Um, my room has also been recarpeted today. So that just kind of was another thing to throw into the mix where I had to, move all of my furniture, move all my stuff out, let them sort of lay the carpet, hammer it in place and then I managed to bring everything all back in over my lunch break and then still doing the day job. So oh, I feel like I can't speak properly. I'm so disjointed and trying to think about what I'm saying but I literally can't form sentences right now because I am so tired. I feel like I'm speaking at 100 miles an hour and then just pausing and feeling really spaced out. So sorry if this is the most disjointed week in the life ever. I've rambled on too long now as ever because I forgot to give you an update this morning because it was literally just like get up, run, move stuff out of my room, log on, get the workmen in, help them out and yeah straight back on the laptop. So this is the first minute, it's like nearly 4pm and this is the first minute I've actually had to sit down and chat but I hope you've enjoyed this little update. Day three is done, that is Wednesday over. Today was another in office day as you guys will have seen. And it was just so nice, a lot more relaxed than Monday when I was rushing around trying to meet the team and stressing a lot. Um, 
I kind of knew everybody at this point. Everyone was really chatty with me and it just, it kind of surprised me how much I eased into the role, like engaging with our agencies, engaging with um, the other people in my team, chatting like normal as if I've been in the team for a really long time, which was nice. Like I'm glad they've made me feel that comfortable. So yeah, started off in the morning, just hopping on and off calls, regular daily, weekly meetings that the team would normally have, trying to slot into their routine. And then um, went for lunch with uh, another girl who's just joined the team. I'm a second year grad, she's a first year grad. So yeah, did a little bit of a tour of the work campus with her, a little bit catch up, up to get her up to speed. And um, yeah, just, just sort of chatted. It was really nice and nice to be with someone else who's also new and gets what, uh, I'm going through and I get what she's going through because that was me a year ago when I first started and then I popped back to the to our usual um sitting place our like team sort of area in the office and a friend came over to chat and we did a little bit of a walk and a catch up as well um one of my really close friends on the grad scheme so that was lovely and then um yep yeah, finished out the day like got my tasks in order, ticked some things off the to-do list, set my goals, objectives, um, and wrote out a sort of to-do list for the week ahead and just in general, major to-dos, minor to-dos, later to-dos. You guys know me, I'm very organized. Um, and that was that, and then hopped on the, the bus, then the train, and then the bus home. Um, and I'm gonna go make dinner now. I've also just packed because I'm graduating on Friday, as I've said, which will be coming in another vlog. Um, but yeah, tomorrow off to an agency in London, then dash back here, grab my case and off I head again. It's just go, 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 isn't it? Like adult life doesn't stop. It's straight from, you know, old house, new house, old job, new job, off to graduate, seeing friends. Like every weekend in September is fully booked up for me already, which is just crazy, but it is what it is. Like I'm living the young professional life in London. Good morning, it's Thursday, which means it's the final day of my week in the life in my new job. What a week it's been. You might be wondering why am I not filming tomorrow, but as I've already said, I'm on annual leave because I'm graduating and I want that to be in a separate vlog and have its own space um, because I've been waiting so long to celebrate it and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to get as much footage as I can that day. But I am currently having breakfast. It's um, natural yogurt with um, like melted blueberries and granola and some cinnamon on top and a little bit of agave syrup um, with of course a cup of tea gets me started every morning. Um, I'm a creature of habit and yeah then I'm going to do a little bit of work from home on my laptop and then head out into London um, around lunchtime to visit an agency. I won't be able to film a load of stuff when I'm out and about but I'll try and capture as much as I can to give you a realistic impression of my day in the life. just headed out on my agency visit now. I've put this jacket on and I was going to put my raincoat on because it's meant to be chucking it down in thunderstorms and it's glorious sunshine. Like I just don't understand British weather. Like look at it shining on my bed. I mean you can't really see it that well. There we are. But I'm just like what is this weather? It was literally thunder and lightning last night like really really heavy rain and now it's like this. I'm very excited to head out. I'm actually feeling a bit anxious today which isn't great. I think it's because I know I'm like I've started work from here this morning and then I'm running out to London on this visit and then I've got to run back, grab my suitcase and hop on a train to Cambridge which is making me feel a little bit panicky because I'm like, what, what train am I going to be hopping on? When am I going to be arriving? Like, is it going to be super late? I need to like get showered and feel prepped and ready for my graduation tomorrow and have an early night and yeah, my brain is just running away with itself. I need to chill and remember tomorrow is about enjoying things and not worrying, like things can't go perfectly 
things will go wrong and I need to just you know I can't control the weather things like that but I am feeling a bit stressy so I'm gonna try and relax and just enjoy this first week of my new job enjoy graduation enjoy the weekend and just put all of my stresses behind me so yeah I'm gonna head out now I'll see you later on And that's my first week in my new job done. Can you believe it? It definitely wasn't as scary as I thought it might be and everyone was super welcoming as I keep saying. My trip to the agency today was so good. Like they were really supportive. Obviously they're not my internal immediate work team so I didn't know how I'd be interacting around them but was determined not to be shy or quiet and go in on myself because I know that's something I do when I'm in a new scenario or around new people and it's something I'm definitely working on both inside of work and outside of work so I push myself to ask lots of questions to make my opinion known and that's something again I'm working on I've had conversations with managers in the past where they've been like you deserve your seat at the table and you're allowed to have an opinion so I try to do that obviously it's a fine line between coming across as overly arrogant or confident but everyone needs a bit of confident in a confidence in a work scenario like that so push myself to ask some relevant questions some of the content was very familiar me fil I can't speak today familiar to me a link to some of the stuff I did in my previous job before this grad scheme so I wanted to show that I was knowledgeable on the subject and I could ask the relevant questions and I got some really really good feedback from um, both um, my colleagues inside my work and colleagues from the agency so that was really good so off to a flying start and to already have that sort of feedback in my first week is really reassuring for me and it's given me the confidence boost I need to maintain that confidence I hope fingers crossed for the rest of my time in this team the offices were so cool they're based in central London they had some really good views that said it was chucking it down so when I got off the train we had to walk from the station to the offices and I got absolutely drenched and I turned up and I felt so embarrassed that I was dripping wet but I mean when I left the house it was really sunny and I felt silly for even having a coat on because I thought I was overdressed for the weather and then it just changed like that because that is British weather but anyhow we all had a good laugh about it it was a really productive session we were talking through strategy things which was really helpful to give me like a bird's eye overview of the area what's being done and what direction we're heading in with my team so yeah really good to get that in quite early on as well because it was a good overview catch me up to or get me up to speed type thing um so yeah feeling really really positive and then Afterwards we all went for drinks as well um, and had some food which was really nice because it made me feel more at ease and comfortable and yeah as I said everyone was just really welcoming it feels like I've been here forever um, and I really surprised myself with just how comfortable I felt like it can be really overwhelming and daunting to be someone new in the new team and you feel like there's a lot of pressure to start contributing as soon as you can and I think it's just about doing it in the right way and doing it in a way that makes you feel comfortable and surrounding yourself with people that make you feel comfortable so yeah I definitely think it was a really really good first week I hope you've enjoyed this week in the life there is so much more I can say but I feel like I'm just rambling on and on and on you've probably seen a lot of it um sorry again that I can't sort of film a lot through the day it's not really professional or appropriate to whip my camera out at work and start talking to you then but I don't mind doing the odd clip here and there and then giving you a little quick up up to date update I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot 
but you you know what I mean I'm so frazzled from this week it's just been so busy but yes really productive first week I hope you've enjoyed my week in the life coming along to work with me I hope it's put some of your nerves at ease if you're starting a grad scheme or you're starting uni or you're starting a new job what whatever your context is for coming to this video I hope it's made you feel a little bit more relaxed about it and I'll see you in the next vlog thanks for watching guys bye